Hello Scorpio. Scorpio for today, Monday, February 12th, 2024. Let us see what is coming into your collective's energy. What messages can I share that possibly could be beneficial for you? Let us see Scorpios. That wanted to fall out, but we're not going to take it. <laughs> Shuffle a few more times. Okay. Scorpios. The Tower, the Two of Cups, and the Lovers. Okay. These are three separate energies. They may or may not be related. We'll see when we clarify. Throwing that in there. We will take that one. For the tower, two more energies. Four of wands, the moon, and the two of wands. It feels like plans. Something with planning. Okay, we'll do a two of cups next, and then we'll get in. Well, we'll do all the other two, and then we'll get into it. That one's come out, so we'll take it. Five of Wands for Scorpio. Two of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Scorpio for our final card with the Lovers. Knight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Okay. Well, definitely looking at the spread overall, I would say everything here in the messages I have do deal with relationships. I'm not really seeing anything relating to work or career in that respect they're all like interpersonal relationships and emotional connections or in this case things that build <laughs> interpersonal relationships and emotional connections okay we have our tower clarified by two of wands four of wands and the moon well in a nutshell I feel like these three energies, you know, we have planning, a solid foundation, and I feel like the fact that we have a tower here, it's like insecurity. I, although I have these energies here though, and the top that and they form the tower, I still don't feel this tower is necessarily a gruesome tower, let me say that. I feel like this tower is more like you have, you've been doing some sort of family, some planning for your household, and I feel like you're going to hit some sort of roadblock. It's like a derailment of plans, okay? That's what I'm feeling here. There's some sort of derailment of plans that you are going to feel. Something is not going to happen. Then you're going to go into your feelings. I feel like that's what this moon is. This moon is sort of amplifying this tower energy. It's not necessarily like we have any cold, hard facts. It's just that some sort of plan that you had or have Scorpio is going to become derailed in some way and that is going to set off a tower. So that's message number one I feel is that if you have some sort of expectation towards your household or maybe towards some people and if it doesn't get realized in the way that you'd like, check your emotional state because I feel your emotional state is going to create this tower and I'm not seeing anything concrete here. It still is your perception. 
not that your intuition is wrong I'm not saying that at all especially as a water sign but I'm just saying to check it that's all don't feed the tower energy don't let your emotions blow up <laughs> that's message number one I feel that it's just a caution that you may feel anxiety around some planning that you've done around your your emotional life your family and you feel like something's not you'll learn something will not go as you planned and maybe you will amplify some insecurities but you don't need to you can check it with logic okay message number two are two of cups clarified by our five of wands our two of swords our ace of pentacles so obviously it's you know, the week of Valentine's Day coming up. Obviously, the Scorpio Collective is large enough that, like, some of you are going to be getting... Actually, I think the read I did before, Scorpio on your mind, and I'm going to do another Scorpio on your mind, person on your mind. I think you had some pretty, like, you know, uh, active uh, prospects there overall in your collective energy. But outside of that, the energy here... So, either this Five of Wands could just be that whoever you have your eye on or they have their eye on you, that there is a lot of competition around you. But I feel like none of that really matters. Whether it's you admiring somebody who has a lot of options or that person is admiring you and feels like you have a lot of options. Whoever has the options they don't really care they only see you okay that is the message here with this two of cups all the options don't doesn't matter because they see you Scorpio message number three for Scorpios our lovers knight of wands six well clarified by our knight of wands six of pentacles and the high priestess you are mysterious, Scorpio. You are mysterious and someone is going to come forward to learn about you. And they're going to approach you. They're going to demystify the high priestess. That's what I feel here. Feeling this exacting energy of the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is a very exacting energy. Depending if it's badly aspected, which it's not here. But I mean, it could be like a very tit for tat, right? But it's like you literally, I give you one, you give me one. This person feels like you have too many mysteries around you, Scorpio. And they're going to go and figure them out in that Knight of Wands energy. All right, Scorpio, let me know if this resonates. If it does, like or leave a comment. If you're interested in my content, please do subscribe. I'll be putting out regular videos for the collective. Also, later today, I'll be doing a person on your mind poll live. So if you want to come in and give me something on the person of your mind, um, I'll do a read for you at 7 p.m. Eastern. Let's see. Oh, to those of you who have liked and subscribed already, thank you very much. I appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful Monday. And I shall be back with another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.